Ooh, ooh, that's a deep purple. What up, y'all? It's Kim Thug. I was making some red cabbage juice extract for this other project I'm working on. Red cabbage juice extract can be used as a pH indicator to determine how much acid or base is in something. I got a few samples of water, and I want to see what kind of color changes I get once I start adding this luscious ruby red solution to them. So the samples we got are my tap water, some carbonated mineral water, some bottled water, Brita water, distilled water, and then some citric acid dissolved in distilled water just to kind of be a control. So like, I know it turns red for acid. The main solution is teetering around a pH of five, which is a little acidic. So let's start with the control. Yeah, no, that's that's like straight red. That's that's acid. Let's see what distilled water looks like. Yeah, it's a little more purple. So it more or less stayed the color that it is. That makes sense, right? Distilled water shouldn't have any extra or less acid or base in it compared to the distilled water I used to make it. So when I put it in there, that's what the color that you see in here is, right? So now let's see what my Brita water looks like. Okay, that's not too bad. Ooh, look at that. Okay, it's like a nice little blue purple. Although, I don't know, it's actually kind of alkaline, but that probably comes from dissolved minerals in my tap water that the Brita filter doesn't remove, or from the fact that I need to change my Brita filter. Maybe this is how I'll check for my Brita filter in the future. All right, bottled water. Let's see what the bottled water looks like. Wait a minute, hold on, what? Oh, no, okay, there we go. I just needed to put a little bit more in there. Interesting. Okay, so the bottled water is definitely more acidic than my Brita water, but it's also more acidic than the distilled water, or it's very similar to the distilled water. Well, I guess bottled water is mostly remineralized distilled water, but the minerals in there should make it a little bit more alkaline. But I guess it's, you know, it's a little different from the DI water. Let's just put a little bit more in there so we can really compare those colors. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's a little more purple. Okay, okay, all right, fine. Let's see about this carbonated mineral water though, because the minerals should make it alkaline, but the carbonation should make it acidic. So let's see where this color goes. Hopefully it doesn't, oh, okay. I was hoping those bubbles didn't just go everywhere. Yep, looks like the uh, carbonation wins out over the minerals here, and it is quite acidic. But all right, my tap water, which I'm not a fan of my tap water. I think my tap water tastes kind of gross. So let's see what color it's gonna be. Ooh. Ooh, that's a deep purple. I happen to know that my tap water is very hard, which means it has a lot of carbonates in it, particularly calcium carbonate. Yeah, that'll explain why it's so purple. <laughs> I can see now that my Brita is doing something for me, right? Like, that's kind of cool, Like, right? I can actually tell that my Brita, well, maybe, no, no, yeah, that's, that's not quite as purple. Not quite as purple. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, it's Kim Thug.